Did you want to do agenda item one to resolve to elect a chairman of the committee for this meeting? Yeah. Yeah. I nominate Isabel to chair the meeting. Second. Chairman of the committee. Um, the idea around that is that should the chairman not be here, you'll have a vice chairman that can step in, or you can appoint a chairman each meeting. It's up to you which way you want to go. I don't um, mind either. I, I don't mind either. I think, again, it depends on, um, on people's viewpoints, but we're all chairs of different other committees. The only person that's not is obviously Steve, and Steve is very new to, to it. So I would be happy to uh, propose Steve if he wanted to engage in that. If he wanted to leave a little bit of time, then I'm happy to leave it and we do it meeting by meeting. So. Yes, I think you need a chance to see. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I think if we do a meeting by meeting and see where yeah. we go with it, because yeah. it may yeah. be that the chair is here yeah. on a regular basis, it may not. We'll just see where it will end up. Yeah. And yeah. if the vice chair can't, if you nominate a vice chair, they yeah. can't come. Yeah, at least if you nominate, if yeah. elect a chair at each meeting, meeting. you can change it if they do, can't you? Yeah. Do we yeah. need to propose and second that or not? Because we need to, um, to elect a vice chair, um, and I'll just put none elected. Yeah. And then I'll remember to resolve to elect a chairman of the committee for the meeting every time. Yeah. And then if we need it, we need it, we don't, we don't. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, item 006 is planning applications um, to agree the responses for the planning applications received. Um, we have that on our little list. Yes, you may. On the terms of reference for the committee, you don't need to comment if it's a no objection. Um, so if you um, can, you only send your comments in if you've got any comments to make. I just feel that it's if you say no comments, it means that you've actually read the planning application. Mm. But yes, if that's what yeah, if that's what you want, that's fine. It's just for now being no, is it? Yeah, yeah. That's the, but it's usually um, only two of us that yeah. respond. <laughs> <laughs> Well, two of us won't respond. Yes, <laughs> not a problem. Thank you. So the ones that we have, um, they are all no objection, as far as I can see. So is there anything anybody else wants to add to anything? The only one that we haven't made any comment on is at the end. 
we've got um, the proposed deck in area and wrought iron fence and gate. Um, I'm sure I've got no objection to that. Yeah, but I'll say yes, that's the same one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then you've got demolition of an existing building and erection of a new, which we haven't got any comments on at the minute. There are no objections. No. Yeah, I've read that, no so, comments, no yeah, no. Mm -hmm. So we're happy that that's what we put on. And planning, so no objection to all of them. Planning. Yeah, no objection to all of them. Uh, item B, to discuss and resolve to agree the consultation regarding the development of Wignall's Gate, lots 71 to 75 and 78. And again, we've had all the bits and pieces in there. This is phase four of the development on Wignall's Gate. Anybody got any comments on that? Was that named? Yeah, yeah, I'm just I can't remember the name of it. something, isn't it? Yeah, so... The initial consult was I say it on now. <laughs> To accept the proposed name as Hickory Close. Oh, that's the one I've got no problem with that. No, I don't. There's no real issue with the name. It's sense if they're happy with that, they just go with it. Yeah? Yeah. Proposal that we accept. Second up. An agreement, please. Item 007, item A and speeding is to resolve to agree the locations for the SIDS for June. Mark and Peter, any thoughts? I think we've pretty well decided, didn't we? I, th I think it's going on the uh, towns in, uh, the roads yeah. into Holbeach mm -hmm. and uh, awaiting to know the. Have we got. Notification of well, the lamp post. Well, they've told us that they are posts, yeah, we have got an email. Um, so that would be Park Road and. Yeah, if we've got the. Road. Road. Yeah. Where, wherever the location yes. is, then we can arrange that. St John's is still working. Yeah, I'm already in town. So. Mm. So the locations are as per the matched report from the lighting team. I do believe sometimes the issue is there's no actual mounting plates on the... We've got spare mounting plates. So Wignall's Gate is lighting column 0378 and 43, both suitable for CSW. I'll email this out now. Okay. Um, Barrington Gate, lighting columns 0636, LC2100, and lighting column outside property number 22 24 are both suitable for CSW. Dan Gate, lighting column number 0689 and lighting column 0688 are both suitable for CSW. I'll put that in the speed in folder for you. Okay. okay. So, 
We haven't got anything currently in the other areas, have we? No. In part we're only doing no. that, which we're waiting to. Yeah, we're waiting on the, um, the notification of where we can place it, Park Road, where we can place it, High Street, where we can place it, Church Street. Yeah, okay. So in the interim, then, what, what are we thinking? Are we thinking... Um, uh, I would go down um, Barron Gate, yeah. one, and then maybe go back out to one of the villages until we get placements in town. Yeah. Um, there is one, I think there is, there's a location on Joy's Bank, I think, in Holby St John's, coming in from the Wisbeach side. It just says, where it says about the placement here, um, current placement. So the whole, the whole beach St John's, you've got facing southbound B1168 mounted to the 40 miles an hour sign Rivergate corner. That's where it currently is. Right. Facing southbound on the same road mounted to 40 mile an hour repeats at 100 yards from Rivergate corner, post extension. Mm, not sure about um, that. Um, face it north on the bend by the plough. I think we've done that one. That's where okay. it is. I think that's where it is at the moment. Um, Rivergate is the approach from yeah, Gavney yeah. Hill Way, and I don't think there is anything there. And then Marks. Is there anything in the herd? Uh, yes. Marsh Road, 40 yards along the southern side of the junction with OP Place in the direction of Long Sutton, facing Holt Beach St Marks. And the last time it was down the hand was December. So it's quite a busy area down to the hand, isn't it? Because you've got all the different factory units and things down that yeah. way. So it's, um, where was the location for Hearn again? Hearn is Marsh Road, yeah. 40 yards, Long Sutton side, of the junction with Oakley Place. Oakley? Yeah, O A K L Y. Yeah. In the direction of Long Sutton, facing Hall Beach St Marks. Okay. And the, the post is 0789, I think, yeah, or well, the LCC reference is that, so. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, I guess that's the post number. Okay. Uh, so, site one at Hearn in that one. Yeah. And the Barrington Gate one was um, that's like 22, Gate, 24, and, um, Just one second. Oh, the, the one that I just gave you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. Well, there's either Barrington Gate or the Station Road. Outside the Mitsubishi garage, which would be on the main drag in. Yeah, yeah. which might be a good one. Yeah. People just speed up down there yeah, quite they don't know. Barrington Gate is lighting column 0636 and it's outside properties 22 and 24. Okay. Yeah. So, so did you change from Hearn then? No, Hearn's Hearn's still, fine yeah. and Barrington Gate and they're the ones. Yeah, Barrington Gate or yeah. it would be Fen Road if it's down the other one. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, so either or, whichever is the easiest. No problem. Okay. Um, yeah, we've now got a risk assessment also for speeding, for erecting the speeding mm -hmm. seeds, which, so that's in the, uh, uh, that, that's in place there. Have we got that on the drive? Um, I believe I sent it, did, did I send it in to you, so if you um, Risk assessment for that. I think I'll send yes, it across to you. I think so. Yeah. I'll find it on the email. Yeah. Okay. So that's those are brief for this month, and then we just need to find out. Did how do we go about the um, other locations? Have we emailed the gentleman that um, Peter used to deal with, or have we gone direct to LCC? Gone direct to LCC. Might be worth digging out his contact details because yeah, he used to that email came yeah because he used to just give the permissions quite quickly didn't he mm -hmm. 
So if we email him about the ones in High Street and Church Street and Park Road and see if we can find a site for those. Because it'd be quite useful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Second. Yeah. There was a whole beach drove as well that we talked about, but I don't think there's, there's, there's no any placements down there. I had another look, there isn't. No, there's only, the only thing you've got down there is telegraph poles, yeah. which is uh, not LCC. Yeah. Um, there's not even any um, speed uh, speed signs that no. you, can, you can put it on an extender. So I did have a look. I know, but you could probably just put some repeater signs or something down there mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah. If, yeah. if we're emailing into him for Holbridge, if, uh, for <coughs> High Street, Church Street, Park Road, especially with the severity of the junction at Saturday Bridge, is it worth doing something either side and seeing if there's a location either side of that particular they, junction? I promised to re wreck the signs, but that was months ago and they still haven't no, done no, We were discussing it the other day. There were, there were several things that they were supposed to do. One was the reduction of the speed limit from 40 to 30 on Joy's Bank in Holbrook St John's. There was upgrading the signage at Saturday Bridge and there have been at least two accidents there this week again. So again, if we find that email and then just revisit that and mm -hmm. say, can we have an update by our next meeting? And there was also yep. the re reduction of the speed limit to 40 all the way through Holbrook oh, sure. to Sheppey Stowe. So if we can find out what's happening in that would be good. Yes. Okay, so item B is to receive an update regarding the way forward with engaging with police, schools and other authorities regarding speeding. I haven't got anything to report on that. Well, I think I read somewhere that... Yeah, I put something on the trial. I did, I read that they're not engaging at the moment. and they have contacted the relevant agencies and basically they have not returned any kind of engagement since COVID. Mm. So, uh, I did contact the school <coughs> trying to get them to speak to me from various departments and I'm still awaiting a phone call that's not so I'm not hopeful there. So I think that's really going to have to wait until September again, and then try again. See if we can if we can get engagement with the school in a general basis. Then we can probably just start doing something that way. Mm -hmm. um, is it also worth engaging with Lincolnshire Road Safety Partnership? We can try and see whether they're interested. But when they're the same, because they're part of the same, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. So I'm presuming that they're not okay. engaging right. at the minute. But. We can still ask directly to them. Yeah. Oh, I think you to have a contact there. I shall look back at okay. the details to see, yeah, to see if we can find a contact that we can get in touch with. I mean, John Siddle is the bloke, isn't he? I don't know. Yes, he is. Okay. He is, and you can, you can contact him directly because I've, I've done that before. He does respond. John Siddle, S I D L E. Yeah, thank you. So if we put that to a bed for the time being and then probably bring it back on the agenda in a couple of months mm -hmm. when we've had a bit of um, interest from various authorities, hopefully. Uh, item C, to discuss and resolve to agree a way forward with a request for a speed reduction along Little Drove and <coughs> It's Little Dog Drove. Little Dog Drove, is that one? Oh, That's okay. your letter. That it? was the letter that was given to me when we went to the um, for the whole week St John's by a parishioner. Uh, I completely understand her, her comments, but it's a 60 mile an hour single track country lane, dead end country lane, um, which is mostly farm traffic. But you do get a few people that, youngsters that speed along there. Um, I think the only way forward with that is contacting our county councillor mm -hmm. 
who is Peter Coopland, mm -hmm. and asking him to, to discuss it with the highways. But I don't think there's. I don't. There's nothing that we can do, and I really don't think there's anything that they can do either, in the way of signage. If you put up a, you know, single track, it makes no difference. Yeah. Yeah, Unfor really. Unfortunately, if it were on a route to somewhere, then it it'd be different. Yeah. But it's on the route to it's it's on the main drag. <coughs> Well, if we respond to them and say that yes. we'll, we'll contact County Councillor um, and see if there's anything that You've written to her already, haven't you? Yeah. You've written to her. Sure, yeah. 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 I, just, well, I think if you, you just write again and say that we've discussed it, discussed it yeah. and that we'll contact the yeah, d uh, County Councillor yeah. who will pass it into highways, and then we'll report back to her. And that's Councillor Copeland, do you? Yes. Okay. Can I pose that for that? that we write that one? Yeah. Yeah. Vice versa. Yes. Okay. So, item 008 is properties, and item A is to discuss and resolve to agree uh, on this United Rent Review. Uh, well, I did look at this one. I know I requested to find out when the rent review was due. I have read through the lease. Unfortunately, we missed it. Yeah, can we put it off on you or? Mm, we need to do it. I mean, it, it, I don't know whether you've read through the lease, but basically, uh, that that lease has been amended, so it's a slightly longer lease now because they required it for the, the work that they've done down there, um, and some of the terms of the lease have been amended in that they are responsible now completely for the cutting, etc. Um, but it's on a three-year review and. The last one was done in 20, or should have been done in 2021. Yes. So we missed it. So we need to be ready for 2024. Um, if you want to review the rent, you can't do it for them. And you have to do, you have to give them an indication of what the rent is going to be increased to at least six months beforehand, so they've got time to come back with any counter argument they have. So, because it wasn't done in 2021, it auto renews at the same price yeah, as it was? absolutely. Okay. There's nothing you can do with it in the interim. Okay. You just have to leave it till your next round of reviewers do. So we just need to put it in the calendar so that we remember to review it. Um, Obviously, they're doing the maintenance of everything inside the fence. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Um, do they have any uh, input in relation to the fence? It's their fence. It is their fence. Yes. So when it comes down to street art and things like that, that's yes. being put on that, that is their expense. Mm, they give permission for it to happen. Okay. We know, when we did the artwork on there before, we asked whether they had any problem with us doing it, yeah. and they said no. Um, they don't get involved in any cost at all. And my thoughts around that is that people that want to do the street aren't normally funded themselves. Oh. If it were the school, then it's slightly different because obviously they limited budgets and etc. But is it, if it's an individual that's wanting to, to create a piece of artwork, mm -hmm. they would normally fund it themselves. Okay. So yes, it's polite to tell them that that's what we're expecting to do. Um, but as we haven't gone any further with that at this moment. But yes, the fence is theirs. Um, and it is their responsibility should it need replacing, etc. It's not ours. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so we just put that in the diary so we remember. And um, to receive an update. Sorry. Oh, I still agree. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Second. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. To receive an update on property registration. So. We've had a letter from the solicitors with their letters of engagement, which is all ready to go. All the files are out safe, and Sophie yesterday went through loads of minutes mm -hmm. and found out some information. So it's all ready to go. I've just got to take it across the road and get them mm -hmm. to sign in for it, obviously, yep. because it's 
extremely important documents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have they given any idea of time scales? No. no they, well, they don't. They're quite vague. Yeah. I suppose it all depends on what we're given, really, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Okay. So if we again, we'll just revisit that when we've got any more news. I can see to receive an update on the defibrillator for the phone box. Um, again, I've sent an email out and I've had no response. We have to have a report from the people who are offering it before we can take it any further. Well, I've had, uh, I've had a verbal notification. If that's not good enough, then what I'll do is I, I will be seeing um, uh, Sam Fattle, so I'll speak to her. You know, what you need is a, a plan of what okay. they're going to do, how they're going to, um, if they're going to fund the ongoing maintenance, etc, etc. Okay, have we got costings for that? Are they getting costings for that? Do we get costings well, for that? We know what they're on for somewhere else, but it depends where they get them from, because obviously I'm they may have I'm pretty sure from speaking to Sam a, a while back, it's through Lincolnshire Lives as well. Is it? Okay. Yeah, pretty sure. Right, so you need notification from them that they are still prepared to mm -hmm. fund it and fund the maintenance. And you need that in writing. Yes, please. Not a problem. Okay. Uh, item D is to receive an update on Bowls Club Loose. We've had no communication back, have we? Uh, was it you? Yeah, I've spoken, the I've spoken to them. Um, I asked. Um, whether they'd had a meeting, they had had a meeting, but they hadn't actually discussed that. Um, the comments were that they've got over 20 members this year, um, up from, I think it was seven last year, and that they were waiting for, I can't remember the term for it. Uh, yeah, when we had the meeting, yeah, yeah. they, they were under the impression that there was somewhere written down that Bowls clubs could only be charged a rent that is in line with others in the area. I did do a bit of Googling, I couldn't find anything to say that at all. Um, and as there are no other outdoor bowls clubs immediately in the vicinity, then it's very difficult. And again, it's a completely different situation. They may only rent the bowls green and not have a pavilion. Mm. So it's a, you can't do like for like, so I can't find anything. So I think if we just go back to them and say, yes, we've done a bit of research, we can't find anything to say that there is any such thing that exists, because we did say we'd look into it. Um, and just say, you know, obviously, we are getting closer to the time because it's October. They know, they know that it's October. Yeah, <coughs> and that if they wish to have another meeting with us, then they're happy to do so. And just see where we go with that. So we will soon need to start drafting the lease and getting it sorted. Uh, in, in relation to that, where are we with the signage? Because I know that was spoken about here previously. It was, but I don't think we actually came to any formal agreement, did we? Because we weren't sure. We think you could wait. And the decision was to wait the until lease, I think. the lease. Yeah. Okay. Because we need to know what brand they were putting on the signage, whether it's ours or yeah. it's theirs. Cool. So I think that it is dependent really on where the lease ends up. Um, item E is to discuss and resolve to agree the way forward regarding the cemetery chapels. Um, obviously, work is about to start on the roof. Um, we have had communication now from the Chapels Trust, giving us formal notification that they are disbanding. Um, so they will not be searching for any more grant funding and they will have no further um, use for the chapels. So from our point of view, that puts us back to where we knew we were going to be should that happen in that the chapels belong to us, they are our responsibility, therefore we have to decide what we're going to do with them in the long term, whether we're looking to only just maintain them as they are or whether we're going to try and find a use for them, um, we will struggle to get any grant funding because we as a 
parish council won't get it if you're going to look for any grant funding you're going to have to create a whole second you're going to have to jump through hoops the same way as they did so it's what could we do with them that is sensible and not going to be a huge burden on us cool. well, what sort of condition are they in inside is it just um, a roof that's bad or the roof is the worst thing because water was getting in so yeah. that has therefore damaged internally. One side is worse than the other. Um, and you, I believe that you could make them functional without too much more work. If you wanted to restore them, that's a whole different ball game. You're talking a lot of money. Yeah. But I believe that you could potentially get them functioning or at least one side functional. Um, once the roof is fixed, then you've not got the water coming in. Mark? I was just going to say, I think it's worth uh, going down and actually, because I don't know Peter, whether you've been in the one. I've never been in. Uh, I've only been in the side that's the worst. So I think it's worth going down and actually mm -hmm. going in them, seeing what they're like before we, you know, to make an informed decision what we need to do. Okay. Uh, I do think it's worth going for grant funding if we could. Is it something that we could make a, a, a if you like, a subgroup within the Carters Park charity that we could then apply for grant funding via that? We need to understand the Carters Park charity first, which we're still waiting to have the training session, so that's a little bit more. But that Carters Park charity is only, we believe, to deal with cards to park, which the cemeteries are not part of that setup. So it is worth looking into, but I don't know whether it's possible or not. Yeah, because all the obviously all the, the trustees of the Cards Park Cemetery are the town ward trustees. They're town ward councillors. Yeah. In of effect. Cards to park. Cards to park. Yeah. Um, you know, with that crossover, I, I, I think it's worth investigating to see the nature of a charity means that, that you are can access that grant funding, whereas yeah. as a parish council we can't. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's, it's certainly worth looking into to see if there is any way we could do that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if we could get one side, certainly one side um, opened up, I think it would be really good to have the interaction of everything that's in the cemetery. So for instance, um, um, Lyndon with everything that he does in relation to how that is, I think it would be a really good situation that, that everything is in, anyone could come to the cemetery and say, where are they buried? Yeah, that, for me, that would be the best use of one side. I do think there's still value in trying to make one side a functioning chapel, not consecrated, but so that if people wanted a small service for the cremated remains, they don't have to just do it at the side of the cremated remains. They can actually do it there, or if, even if they wanted to do a small service for a burial, they could do it there even looking into the whole idea that was the trust's idea of a wedding venue. You know, there is no reason why it doesn't have to be pristine to be a wedding venue. A lot of people want it to be a little bit shabby, don't they? Uh, and again, it's not going to be a huge money spinner, but it is still something that people would be interested in. There must be a lot of local interest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you want to say something? Oh, 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 I was going to say, we have a valid quote to do the work. There's been a quote. Uh, the trust have had one. They've had a quote. Yeah, yeah they've had. They've done. They've had to do everything because they yeah. went through the whole process and they were into. I can't remember. I think it's one and a half million or something like. It was. It was a lot, a lot of money. But then they were wanting to do a lot of changes to it, so they were going to connect the two with a glass. Um, Does it need to finish. be that? No, 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 Does absolutely not. No. In fact, I want to get them saved so they can be open. Yeah. Surely it wouldn't be that. I think it's work. We need to go down there. Yeah. Once they're finished on the roof, yeah. I mean, you can't go down there so while they're the not actually in. Really, and, and have a look at it and work out what needs, what would be the next thing that we'd need to do, because once the roof is done, then right. we need to prioritise the next work. Kids, we say, could you not go to load the builders, the big builders that are building everywhere, and ask? Whether they'd be interested in, in putting a bit of funding in? You could ask. The only issue you're going to have is because it's listed, you're going to have to have oh, a builder yeah. that is able to do that quality of work. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, I think um, I think it's a good point in relation to again, it's trying to bring it back to being local people mm. supporting local projects, mm. um, and I, I think you would get the buy-in from certain certain people to do that, and certain trades to do that. Um, and I think if you're thinking about utilising both sides, then I think the uh, the more positive side, the more the more um, uh, the, the the better side. Yeah, then that would that would fit for a. Uh, a a, a venue for, for such like and the opposite side again okay. if it's got the use for that then you've also got the buy-in from people that are associated with you know people that want to utilize that space and would then probably benefit from I that. think if we I mean there have been a lot of local interest and you know people have come along to the full council meetings and asking about yeah. state of repair etc etc so I'm sure you know we could get a lot of local people interested in, I don't know, funding as well as, as maybe getting a committee together. I think, I think we do need, we need to go down and have a look. Um, I say they are due to start work any time soon, so <coughs> it wouldn't be sensible to go in there then because they need to store some of the stuff, etc. So once they've gone and cleared out, then we can have a proper look and see exactly what we're dealing with and, and come up with a plan. The, the planning application and everything that was put in by the trust, I believe I've still got it on my file, so I'll put it into this um, folder so you can have a look at it. I mean, it was quite, it wasn't radical, but you know, it was. Was it English Heritage or? It, this was Heritage Lottery that they were applying for, but they changed the goalposts so many times that they had to keep thinking again. Um, but it, at least it gives you the scope of seeing where, how they were going to put it together and what they, their ideas were. I mean, you wonder what the idea of actually listing a building and then not actually, you know, supporting its upkeep or, or what's the point of listing a building mm. if they're just going to let it fall down? Yeah, but it's down to the owners to make sure that yeah. doesn't happen, which is us. Yeah. ultimately, which is where we came from. You know, all the time the cemetery chapels were, um, trust were working, we were just basically saying, oh, that'd be fine. They'll do the work, it'd be wonderful. But the danger is that they, which is now, they're never going to do the work, so now it comes back on us. So now you and ended up, I mean, luckily, we have actually agreed to do the roof, which if we hadn't done, that would have been even more expensive than it is currently. So, Are you allowed to mention what the cost of that is? Yeah, yeah, it's around 36, isn't it? Okay. Which, in current climate, is quite a good deal. Because <laughs> it would have been a lot more if we'd have gone out for tender now. Mm. Oh gosh, a huge amount more. Is it worth, at this point, if we're going to uh, discuss the resolve one way forward, to put it out there to create a subcommittee for this? So, the subcommittee, because it, it may not be just the people that's on this committee. Uh, is it worth putting that to full council to see if anyone else wants to get involved in a subcommittee? We could do, yeah. Just Have a public meeting. Potentially. We could do. I, I would. Later down. Yeah, yeah I well. would prefer to get some ideas in place and understand what the implications of what we want to do is before you start giving people false hope that mm -hmm. it's going to be something <coughs> that it can't be. Because it, there's a finite amount of money that we're going to be able to access, so you've got to be realistic, haven't you, about where you go with it. It would be nice if we could to get that, um, um, you know, like the, the 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 windows and the doors reinstated, re reinstated yeah. as as was. Yeah. Um, and there's a there was a big push so uh, on the um, on the TV about lost skills and and, uh, and sort of stone masonry. Uh, stain windows and things like that. So maybe we can incorporate in with something on more on a national scale, and then offer it up for a project that national organisations can get involved in. It's a blank canvas when all said and done. So yeah, I think first steps is that we need to go down there, have a look, mm -hmm. then formulate a group that's going to look at that project. Mm -hmm. So you can bring, I mean, again, you could bring in outside people that have got skills mm -hmm. and knowledge. The biggest problem is you're listed, isn't it? Yeah. That's always been the biggest. That's the biggest problem. What? Because there's different grades, isn't there? 
Grade two. Grade two. Is it grade two? Is it? Yeah. So it's yeah, it needs. And it's time, to isn't it? It is time. Yeah. Everything takes time in grade two. Yeah. Grade two is it? But at least their plans have been passed. So we've got a starting point. What we do need to look at, and I must look at that, is when they need renewing. Because I would say that that's a good place. Yeah, yeah. probably, you know, it was 18, 19, 19, I think. So that's for about even if we do nothing else, if we get those plans renewed, because then at least you've got a basis to work on. Keep your plan information and your listed building consent and work within the scope of that, even if you don't do all of it. You've got it there already, so you don't have to just read all the way back and forth. Because as we well know, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at the And it's just in our name anyway, so you're fine. Yeah. So there's a quick tack onto that. Mm. Is there any funds that are still in the, um, in the uh, Cemetery Chapel, Chapel's Trust that are relevant to be coming back across? Uh, they have not mentioned anything, and I suspect that they wouldn't be able to just give it over to us because there would be clauses on how they have to, it would go back to the funder rather than coming to another group. Okay. I would suspect that's normally the case. If it's not spent yeah. within X amount of time, the funder can reclaim it. Okay. It was submitted on 30th of October 2019, and the decision mm -hmm. was 23rd of the 1st, 2020. Yes, okay. Is it three or five years? And then we, I think I'm sure it was three. Okay. You have to start work within three. Or well, we have technically, because we've done the roof. I would have a conversation with the conservation officer now because you'd be waiting a long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll get the plans, I'll try and find them, I'll put them in the drive so you can see them and then at least you'll know what their plans were and what elements we want to do and what elements I just I'm not starting. So um, the agenda item is to resolve to agree. So is it to go and have a look and yeah, take visit the visit the channel? Council. Yeah, take the council to um, create some committee for that purpose. And if the plans need renewing, get those so need. Contact the. Uh, what, what's he called? The conservation, conservation officer. Yeah, officer. Yeah, conservation officer. And probably um, head of planning as well. Yeah, it might be worth it. Oh, there's a bunch of details. So, clever. Who's up in planning because I read something today yeah. of, there was a whole list of queries. It can either go on this agenda or it can go on to the full council agenda. It's got, mm. I don't know whether it needs to be re cheeked by them. It's been agreed in principle by them so I don't know whether it needs to go back to them. If it's just additional well, information, yeah. then it's really a matter of I just providing right. the information. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. it's been approved. So. If we just put it as an update in our next meeting, and then if we can work on those elements that they're requesting between now and then, and then update where we are. Yeah. Yeah, because most of it's fairly, it's just adding in a bit more information, isn't it? <laughs> a bit more information, it was, um, if you like, I'll read it through. Um, it's 
So we'll only try and identify two locations which you can coordinate your response should one be taken out of the equation. Uh, to have more than one key holder for each of your identified places. Now obviously I've got the information from, uh, from online so maybe it's contacting the actual venues and seeing if there's a secondary key holder. Um, and, and obviously their details. Uh, so emergency kit location, it may be better to have a number of kits stored across the area if you provide, uh, they can provide us with two to get us going. So obviously that's two black boxes so we can have it in two different locations. Um, Um, yeah, to, uh, to amend the full, full plan, page 22, and then section 4, uh, they're going to provide us with maps in relation to that. Mm -hmm. well, if, we can, if we can work on it between now and the next meeting and then just do an update, yep. if that's okay, if you need any input, just to be sure. Yes. Anything else anybody can think of at the minute? Uh, I just think an update on the planning, on the um, site and locations that's in town when we get that back from um, our city. Mm -hmm. So we can update that next. Um, I don't think there's any more. Oh, well, we need to. I don't think we need to do both to release at this stage, but we will need to put that on the following one, really, won't we? We need to start, yeah, mm -hmm. but we can leave that for next time. Should we have an update on the Saturday Bridge and yeah. the speeding issues as well? Yeah. Please. Seventh or twenty ninth is best for me, but I prefer not to one day, but that's twenty ninth. Twenty ninth, Wednesday. Sorry, yeah, twenty ninth better for you, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Just freeze my day off. Yeah, so I'd be selfish, but that's fine. If you need me, I will definitely call. Yeah. Should be around you. Timings. Does this time work for everybody? Mm -hmm. Is that okay for you? Yeah. Yeah. Sixteen thirty. Okay, well, I'm close to meeting that, uh, whatever the time is. 17.